Hey guys, so a question popped up in my head. Is the Snapmaker U1, is it a true disruptor to single tool head printers like the P1S's that I have here? Or is it just a companion to those, to those printers? Because those printers still can print basically ASA, ABS, if you let them heat up and all that other type of stuff but yes it, it it's it completely does disrupt any single tool head multi-color multi-material type of printer and i can't see because i was going to basically do this i was going to upgrade my p1s's to maybe adding a couple p2s's a couple h2s's and maybe an H2D, but now I have to think about how am I gonna move my farm forward? Because I, again, I print mostly in ASA, ABS, and that is the weakness currently for the U1 without an enclosure kit. And well, also not just the enclosure kit, you gotta buy hardened nozzles and all that other stuff. And while well, the space in here is nice and tight, so even if it doesn't have a uh, chamber heater, you can be, if it's fully enclosed, you should be able to print ASA. But again, even for ASA, I don't really do multicolor ASA prints, right? Not many people do. But for PLA, prints like this right here, this Bubblesaur, that's my favorite Pokemon. Fight me in the comments if you think he's he sucks. But anyway can as you can see i do a lot of work i do a lot of work in these printers and i'm thinking again how am i going to build my farm out right because i have my sv08s here and these are not true competitors to the stem maker u1 these are single color massive printers same with my uh, SV08 Max. So those are not competition. But now I have to really, again, think what I'm going to do. So what do you guys think? Should I replace all my P1Ss with Snapmaker U1s, then enclose them, or stick with what I have? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next.